J.M. in the A.M. Uh, we have in our studio two of our favorite guests. Dr. Hindi Klein is the OHEL Director of Clinical Projects and is here because uh, there is a groundbreaking brand new film that is being uh, offered for viewing throughout the uh, Jewish community. We'll speak about it in a moment. Uh, Dr. Hindi Klein is joined by Derek Saker, of course, Director of Marketing over at the OHEL organization. I say welcome to both of you. Thank you for being here this morning. Good morning, Nachum. Good morning, Thank you Nahum. for having us. A pleasure. It's great to be here again. I appreciate that. OHEL presents Rising from Divorce, a groundbreaking new film for all members of the community, not just divorcees, but everybody who um, uh, really needs to learn about this topic, and uh, as they say here, who should see this film? Rabbis, community leaders, educators, and more importantly, the entire community. As uh, OHEL makes this film available, it will be shown this coming Sunday in Brooklyn, New York. We'll give you the details in a moment. Dr. Hindi Klein, why is Rising from Divorce such an important film for the Jewish community? Well, for several reasons. Um, there, There are certain things that are very different about this film in terms of addressing divorce in the Orthodox Jewish community. Uh, number one, these are people who came forward. We had a, uh, on our website, we had a call for people to come, to come forward if they wanted to speak about divorce, whether they were, uh, divorcees, whether they, whether they were adult children of divorce, uh, to come forward and talk about their experience. And not only what is, what they experienced past and present, but what they think should be happening within the community. Um, in addition to which, we um, enlisted the ideas and thoughts of uh, rabbis, other clinicians, um, educators, community leaders, people who we wanted to hear their view on uh, what's going on right. in the community and what we feel should be happening. Right. How can we help men and women who are divorced? The most important, how can we help the children? Our focus is always on the children. If people decide that they want to get divorced, that's their choice. However, the children need to be protected, right. and, and they should never be caught in the middle. And that's the goal here. In other words, uh, there are many different options for the way that community uh, members, you know, regular folks, respond to people and to families who are going through divorce situations or already have gone through divorce situations. Uh, some people might ignore them. Some people might not know how to approach them, what to say to them, etc. Some people might think negative thoughts about them because, hey, how could it be that they allowed their you know marriage to get to this point or whatever, you know, where they actually... Well, the stigma. There's exactly, a lot of right. stigma around divorce. And uh, what gets me is that I thought we were making a lot of progress in this area. Or do we have a lot of a long way to go in this area? I think we've definitely made progress. I think that the fact that we can create such a film and show it, and the reason we are launching it the way that we're doing is because because we feel it's, it's such an important film and there's so many important points that need to be made. Um, we didn't just want to create a video and then put it on a website or right. launch it in a certain way and say, here, this is an interesting video. Go watch, watch it. Watch this and learn right, what to and do. And learn, and then you can have your own thoughts about mm-hmm. it. We wanted to process it almost like a group process where people would come together and we would show the video. And then afterwards, we're going to be having panel panels of um, different notables in right. the community to come and process <clears throat> and answer questions uh, with the people, the participants who came to watch the film, and we're having, um, as you know, three different launchings, right. Brooklyn, Teaneck, and the five towns. Yeah, we'll go through those details in a minute. I guess we'll know the answer by Sunday night, but I'm, uh, but yeah. I'm curious to see if the community turns out for this. I'm really well, curious I, I, I to can, see. I can tell you this, just in the, the, the last day, really, where we've uh, been marketing it aggressively, we've had thousands of hits on the on the video, whereas a few days we had 100 and something. Uh, this morning, I think it's over 3,000. So I think that the video does speak very loudly to the community. Not, not to suggest that people could see the entire movie. That's a trailer you're Correct. referring to. Correct. Right? And that, and that as he right. says, was deliberate because we, the, 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 this initiative is, is way beyond just the video. Obviously, the video is principal uh, in this initial stage uh, as an awakening to the community. But far more importantly is the um, uh, discourse that we hope will emanate from uh, people seeing the video, the video. And then even more importantly, action within the community, whether it's from Rabonim, whether it's from teachers, whether it's from... Um, 
from uh, uh, other educators, whether it's from neighbors, whether it's from friends. Um, I will be honest, when we started this project, we were very apprehensive, we were very concerned, we weren't sure whether people would come forward, because the, the only way we would do this is if people would go on camera and, and share their experiences. Um, and uh, given the nature, obviously, of stigma in our community, and particularly when it comes to divorce, uh, we weren't sure whether people would actually come forward. Um, and so, as Cindy says, we, you know, we advertised uh, a lot in the community, and we were very surprised. Well, the trailer has a limited number of those people, divorcees Correct. and adult children divorced. Does the movie have a lot more? Are there a lot that came forward? Yes, there are a lot of people that came forward. Again, the, the, the video, uh, which, which um, is reflective of the, the wider message, uh, reflects different perspectives and opinions uh, and concerns and responsibilities from the whole range of the community. In other words, this All is right. not a video just with divorced people. This is a video, with uh, again, with uh, rabbis and educators and, right. and divorcees and, and, and children much, of divorce. And as much as both of you would like to see as many divorced <coughs> people watch this, you would rather the majority of the people who watch right. it be people who are not right. from so those th- types of situations. That's one of the main points. This is what we call a community call to action. This is not about just having uh, men and women who are divorced or who are contemplating divorce or who have been divorced to come and watch this video. This is really for everyone in the community. There, there is not, I, I, I think you would agree with this, do you know anyone that doesn't know someone who is divorced. It would be impossible to believe. Exactly. Whether it's a relative, yeah, it a friend, a neighbor, sure. uh, someone they know from high school, yeah, I mean, e- everybody that... Y- you might argue five to ten people that everybody exactly. would know. Exactly. Yeah. Divorce touches, um, you know, unfortunately, divorce touches everyone in our community, and that's why we created this film, because we want, it's really, we see it as a community call to action. We want members of the community, whether, whether they're, um, Neighbors, friends, regular members of the community, rabbis, right. educators, um, clinicians. We want everyone to come and see this film. We feel that it has a tremendously important message. Um, and when we produce this film, just talking, having the men and women, the adult children, and all the other uh, uh, clinicians and educators and rabbis creating this video, it was just astounding uh, to see the process of how they came and spoke on camera. Uh, I was there, you know, one of the reasons I was always there with Derek was because sometimes it would be very difficult for some of the members right. to talk, especially the men and women, and I would always be there to process with it, them afterwards to make sure that, you know, that they were okay. Uh, I could just say, one of, the, one of the challenges, of course, was that uh, we wanted to give voice and expression to children, um, children who came from divorced homes, and for many uh, reasons, we couldn't have these individuals on camera. So what the we did... Younger uh, children. Uh, younger children, children under 18 who, who are from divorced homes. Uh, and so what we did was we created a form online where they could anonymous, anonymously share uh, their insights, their perspectives on different issues, and we got hundreds of um, incredibly uh, insightful and emotional um, comments from from children uh, on their concerns, on the messages that they wish to relate to the community, and so forth. Um, and um, that that spurned us even further in terms of um, the the importance of communicating this to the community. Well, one thing I learned from the trailer, and if you go to the OHEL website, you can watch it. One thing I learned from the trailer. You cannot understand the pain of the husband. You cannot understand the pain of the wife, and you cannot understand the pain of the children. Three separate things, and all of them devastating. All of them are just, you know, like, like people will ask, what's better or worse to, you know, physically handicapped later in life, or God forbid, mentally handicapped later in life. And the answer is, they're both horrible. And right. you know, you 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 can't understand what any of the people in these particular situations are going through. Well, one of the main focuses of why we wanted to do this was to send a message to the community uh, really about the aftermath of divorce, how it affects the men and women, and really how it affects the children. And our motto is always don't let the children be caught in the middle because of sometimes... Uh, and the reason that's the motto is because usually they are. They are, right. exactly. And that's some of the comments that we we saw uh, when we got responses from In fact, a child, of, and I'm sorry for interrupting, but a child of divorce who is not treated that way should consider themselves really lucky based on the way humanity works yes i mean there are we you know i do uh, work with couples who are getting divorced and the they literally come in i've had situations where couples will come in to see me and they will tell me we are planning to get divorced but we want to meet with you because we want to find out how best 
to deal with this vis-a-vis the children. We want to talk. How do we speak to them? How do we how do we plan our lives around these children? Well, which your is video, amazing. Yeah, well, your video suggests that the only good way to do that is to acknowledge the parental bond that you're going to have forever Correct. With, with, with that other parent. I mean, it may get a drop different as they get older, but it's still going to be a bond that's going to last forever. Uh, one of the people on the video was a, a Dr. Mark Banchik, and I think you're referring yeah. to his comments. Right. Um, Mark He's is a, a member of our community or not? He is not a member of the Brooklyn community, but right. he's a member of the um, Orthodox Jewish right. community. He's an amazing man, and he is a child psychiatrist. He has also written extensively on divorce. He has written a book called The Intelligent Divorce. He he writes for Psychology Today. And his his thoughts were really uh, very inspirational to us, for us all listening to him right. while we were filming. The um, reason I asked about his background is because it's, it seemed to me that he was ready to say certain things that others would not. That's right, why I was right, him saying. Right. He's a little bit I'm uh, even more happier. out of the box, Correct. And, I, and we were happy to have him right. uh, so we could get his thoughts and his ideas. Um, can I just say your, your, your point regarding the, the pain I think is so important and uh, as David Mandel, you know, our CEO wrote, has written in an article, Children Surviving Divorce um, emotional trauma is proven to equate with physical trauma um, and the pain of, 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 uh, of uh, husbands and wives uh, is, is enormous and just as we focus on not to have children caught in the middle, I think that there's very much a concern not to have parents caught in judgment mm. I think that there's a natural inclination in the community for people if not to pass judgment uh, on, on people who got divorced to 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 inquire as to why they got divorced you know how did this happen you know what are the details uh, why couldn't they make it work and so forth as opposed to rather focusing on the day after and you know how can I help what right. can I do you know what I find I, uh, Dr. Klein you'll tell me if I'm crazy or not <laughs> you, you've always been open about that topic <laughs> <laughs> I, I always find a sadness like I, I that I that I find myself approaching people who are divorced as if something sad has happened to them when in fact when in fact and that's a judgment by the way because in fact it may be the best thing and they themselves might say you know now thank don't they even say Mazel well, Tov at a, yes. at a get yes. Absolutely, and I think it's both because I think that, as you'll see in the video, there is one of the one of the uh, participants in the video says you need to treat uh, people who get divorced uh, as though they're going through some sort of mourning process because they are going through a mourning process, and it is a mourning process. It, it is a loss of a life together, a loss of a relationship. On the other hand, very often people will be happy that they're getting divorced ultimately for whatever reason, and they and then you say to them, Mazel Tov. And I actually just had somebody come over to me the other day at a meeting, and she said. You know, I want to share this great news with you. And I said, what? She goes, I just got my get. And she was like so excited and she was hugging me. And I was like so pleased for her. And I said, Mazel tov. And she said, yes, you know, thank God after many years. And um, so, you know, you could really look at it from both perspectives. And, and well, I, think but, it is, I think it is important. It is both perspectives. It is right. both perspectives. It, is, it could it be is. something that's uh, you look it at it is. from a sadness and from, from a happiness. Um, even even in the worst case of, of, of divorce, um, where where someone you know really feels a sense of relief, there is no question that, that there's a sense of tremendous loss, right. the loss of tremendous. the potential, the loss of what could have been. Exactly. Uh, but there are a lot of very positive people out there who do regard it as a new start, of as a you know. Of course. You know, a lot of it depends on the circumstance right. and what they've been through uh, during the marriage, and the, the conditions of the divorce and what's going to happen with the children. And you know, years ago, um, I wrote an article for the Jewish Press on what happens to the children. Children. Right. And we did a um, we did trainings on you know don't let your child get caught in the middle, and we did events you know about on divorce don't let the child get caught in the middle. I think I was here that time with Feige Zakhar, right? And we did that event, and that was years ago. And we thought at that time, who's going to come to this? No one's going to want to come because they're going to think, oh, you know, uh, they're going to think I'm getting divorced. Correct. Meanwhile, there were uh, it was a standing room only crowd. Many people came. Many of the people were either divorcees or relatives of divorcees or people in the community who just wanted to hear about how to deal with this. And um, so this is not something totally new for us at OHEL, but I think that the method in which we're presenting it today is very groundbreaking right. and um, very creative. And I've <laughs> got to get to the details of that method. Uh, OHEL presents Rising from Divorce, a groundbreaking new film for all members of the community. As we said, you can check out the trailer online at the OHEL website. Everybody, rabbis, community leaders, educators, and the entire community should be there at the Young Israel of Midwood this coming Sunday night at 7.30 for the screening and the panel discussion. There'll be Divrei Bracha for Rabbi Moshe Tovia Leaf. The panel will include Rabbi Eli Mansour, noted speaker and rabbi of Bet Yaakov, 
Uh, there will be, uh, Dr. Hindi Klein is going to be there. Uh, David Mandel, the CEO of OHEL, and Rachel Chafetz, the uh, noted educator as well. They'll all be part of it uh, this coming Sunday at the Young Israel of uh, Midwood. Starts at 7.30 p.m. at 1694 Ocean Avenue in Brooklyn, New York. In addition to that, you're going to be heading to Teaneck, New Jersey. Uh, this will be at B'nai Shurin, right, in Teaneck, New Jersey, on April the 26th, which is a week from Sunday night. And then on May 3rd, right, Billet Synagogue at the Young Israel of Woodmere is going to be the place, right? So May 3rd. So people in in the Five Towns area, it's May 3rd. People in the Teaneck and Bergen County area, it's April 26th. And this coming Sunday night at the Young Israel of Midwood, uh, 7.30 p.m. in Brooklyn, New York, or right, Mansour, as we said, plus the entire panel will be there. And Derek, you mentioned to me before the show, um, as we were speaking before we went on the air, that this is way beyond the film and the event. Uh, OHEL has taken upon itself to expand this into further programming, into more services in this area in the community. Expand on that for me, Adrop. Correct. Uh, we see the film as a catalyst, really, to an expansion of um, of services and programs that are necessitated in the community. Um, and um, if you go to the website, ohelfamily.org slash rising from divorce, uh, you'll see a taste of uh, what we're looking at in terms of uh, uh, augmented programs and services uh, for the community, whether it's support groups for children of divorce, support groups for families, support groups for parents, uh, husbands and fathers. Um, there's, uh, there's a number of programs, uh, programs and services uh, that we're offering to the community um, to, to ultimately impact the environment so that both parents of divorce and children of divorce can, can thrive. Um, training programs for, for teachers, uh, for, uh, for Rabonim, again, to make them more sensitive, to understand their responsibilities. Um, uh, within the community and practical st- and practical <coughs> tools, to be honest, whether it's for neighbours, whether it's for family members, whether it's for teachers, as to uh, you know what they can do, what impact they can make uh, in order to benefit that environment for for children of divorce. Uh, Dr. Klein, you wanted yeah. to add? <coughs> I, I also just want to add that first of all, in terms of uh, this coming Sunday's event, yeah. Um, as you had mentioned, who was going to be, uh, you know, we were very honored to get Rabbi Moshe Tovialif to uh, provide Devray Bracha and also to have such a distinguished panel, which includes Rabbi Eli Mansour, who was right. gracious and, and uh, very kind to, to uh, join and in. And he's amazing. Uh, he's amazing, and we're, we're so happy about that. And also Rachel Chavitz, who's a noted educator, right. and David Mandel. So I just wanted to stress that, and I know that next week in TNAC we're going to be having some other important notables. Dr. Mark Banchik actually is going to be coming Ooh. to the TNAC event. And he will be on the panel um, on the T uh, Dr. Mark Banchik, and he's amazing. Um, before we end, I, I don't know when we're ending, but before we end, <laughs> I wanted to uh, sure. read one of the comments. We had many, many comments from children. from children of divorce, you know, under the age of eighteen, uh, and there was just and we looked through a lot of them, and we wanted to uh, mention one of them just to read to you one yeah, of the sure. comments. We had uh, we had different. Children commenting on, you know, what to tell your parents. What message do you want to send to your parents? What message do you want to send to your peers? What message do you want to send to your community? So I'm just going to read you one from a young boy of age 11 who had a message that he wanted to send to the community. And this is what he says. Since my parents got divorced, the rub of my shul comes to pick me up every Friday night. Shabbos morning, my neighbor comes to pick me up to go to shul. The people in the shul are very nice to me. They give me a seat. They usually ask me first to say brachos before the other kids. They dance with me on Simchas Torah. On Purim, we go to sister to sister Suda, where they are very nice, and they send gifts and gift cards to my family. (laughs) This is a wonderful example of the goal that we want to achieve by showing this film, processing this film, and taking inspiration from this film. Someone once said on this show... You want to do something for somebody, uh, you want to do something for, you know, uh, a single mother, uh, with children, go over to her and say, I, I, I'll, I have no problem sitting next to your son in shul, something that she cannot do, obviously. Right. right. And, you know, the father's not around, maybe in a different town or the situation might be. And, uh, and that, that simple act, like you just said about picking somebody up before shul on Shabbos, uh, could be a big difference in, uh, in a child's life. One of the things we should have done, maybe, We'll do it on a future occasion. We've probably done it in the past, but I don't remember any show that I've done, frankly. Uh, we should we should invite uh, an adult child of divorce to discuss this because I think, especially if they're as open as we would want them to be, and you probably have come across some that are really open. We had on this several topic. that were quite open, yeah. and very honest with. They themselves. could probably really let this audience have it <laughs> and let the community have it regarding what we should or should not be doing when it comes to reacting to divorce yeah. to the kids from divorced families. 
Um, yeah, no, I, 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 agree, I agree. I'll just say this. Then. Why, so, you're wondering if somebody would do that? No, you, you well, well, let, me, let me just qualify. I actually could my, think of a couple of people yeah. who would possibly do let that. Let me just qualify my, my, uh, what I was going to, my concern. Um, we interviewed, as you know, many people for, uh, people for this video from across the United States, in right. fact, from Canada, Los Angeles, Chicago, everywhere. And, um, and some of them obviously included, uh, people of, uh, individuals of divorce. Right. The, um, the, 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 the tone, however, of the video, uh, is not one of, uh, Criticizing and naming and blaming and so forth. Understood. These, these are not videos where right. you know, they're bashing the ex spouse. Right. Ra- uh, to the credit of That's these individuals. That's what this forum is for. <laughs> <laughs> That's why I'm inviting somebody to come out and let us have it on this topic. Okay. We need a little rude awakening in our community, let me tell you. But you're right. The purpose of the gathering is obviously from a very positive perspective right. to tell the community that we have a role. We have it's a role a, to turn. And it's educational. Right. 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 And we could turn a lot of very negative situations with just a couple of, you know, the different changes of attitude or a couple of small acts of kindness can change into a very positive experience. Correct. I mean, I think, I think, it's, all, I think it's very clear, it should be clear to the community that, uh, you know, we have a generation of individuals already reaching the age of uh, Shidduchim That's right. um, who, who come from divorced homes. Right. I mean, thousands and thousands of individuals. And, you know, how is the community going, going to understand it? Are they going to be dismissed? Are they going to be seen as, right. uh, you know, not worthy of uh, stigmatized and so right. forth? Whereas, obviously, for many of these individuals, they've overcome many challenges in life, and in many ways it probably makes them an even better person or more sensitive and uh, right. more understanding of this and that. But Certainly with enough experience to pass along some important messages Correct. to us, that's Correct. for sure. Uh, I think that the adult children of divorce that we interviewed that you will see on the video, they really had a lot of very, I mean, everyone has an important message. They right. really do. We had some very, very important messages from everyone. Uh, but if you listen to the poignancy of the adult children of divorce and, and the message they have, what it was like for them growing up and what they what their like now and how they are building their own families despite the fact that perhaps their families were very much uh, disrupted and fragmented during the course of their childhood right. and they are rising above it as we see as you'll see in the they've video. overcome a lot of adversity yes uh brooklyn new york this coming sunday check out the trailer online it's pretty cool i saw it this morning it's called rising from divorce a groundbreaking new film for all members of the community everyone should be there sunday night at the young israel of midwood rabbi uh, rabbi lee for by mansoor uh, Rachel Chaifetz, Dr. Hindi Klein, Director of uh, Clinical Projects at OHEL, the CEO of OHEL, David Mandel. They'll all be there. They'll be part of the panel discussion in Brooklyn, 730 Sunday. Uh, it's at 1694 Ocean Avenue in Brooklyn, New York. The Teaneck event will be on the uh, 26th of April at B'nai Yashurin. The Long Island event will be on the 3rd of May in the Young Israel of Woodmere. Go to the OHEL website for further information. It is a groundbreaking film, and it should be a very interesting event, no matter which of the three you go to. I just mentioned two things. Yeah. One, uh, I should mention uh, David Jesse and DMJ uh, Productions, the company we work with with this uh, production. It was many months in the making, and uh, we couldn't have done it without them. And... Um, and uh, Lastly, uh, just to reiterate that this is a video for the entire community. Right. If you're affected by divorce, uh, you can gain the help you need. And if you're a member of the community, um, you can learn how to provide help to others. Well said. Uh, Derek Saker, I thank you. Thank you very much, Nahum. Uh Dr. Klein, I thank you. Thank you very much. It was good a pleasure luck, to be uh, here. Good luck Sunday night. Thank you. It should be We're a very interesting it. panel discussion. And you'll take Q&A, I assume, from the Absolutely. audience. Absolutely. That's that's part of the process. Yeah, everyone out there will be able to uh, participate in that way. It's quarter before nine o'clock. I thank our guests from OHEL. Yet another very important area that they're tackling on a uh, Wednesday morning at JM in the AM.